This is one of multiple CCNA quiz-based videos. These quizzes are practical and use a packet tracer to help you test and verify your knowledge of CCNA topics. So download the attached packet tracer file and see if you can practically answer the questions in this quiz. So don't just answer the questions, prove it by using the packet tracer simulation mode. So assume that for these questions that all devices have just rebooted. You can simulate this by clicking the power cycle devices button in packet tracer. In other words, you can click this button here to power cycle the devices. Again, don't just answer these questions, prove it. The first question is, when PC1 pings PC4 in network one, what type of packet is sent to the hub initially? Can you prove it? Who receives the packet? Who receives the return traffic from PC4 to PC1? And when ping traffic is sent from PC1 to PC4, who receives that traffic? For question 528, assume that the switch's MAC address table is empty. So assume that this layer 2 switch in network 2 has just rebooted and that its MAC address table is empty. When PC5 pings PC8, in other words, this PC here pings the IP address of PC8, what type of packet is sent initially to the switch? And can you prove it? And then again, who receives the initial packet? And who receives the return traffic from PC8 to PC5? And then when ICMP traffic or ping traffic is sent from PC5 to PC8, who receives the traffic? Question 9, 10 and 11 ask about broadcast and collision domains. How many broadcast domains are there in network 1? And can you prove it? How many broadcast domains are there in network 2? And can you prove it? How many collision domains are there in network 1 and network 2? And again, can you prove that? You don't have to answer these questions from question 1 to question 11. You may want to answer questions 9, 10 and 11 first and then answer the other questions. But by the time you've finished, you should be able to answer these 11 questions and be able to prove the answers practically. So download the attached packet tracer file and see if you can answer the questions yourself. But I'm now going to go through the answers to these questions. I'm going to answer the questions practically now. So either pause the video or continue watching.